to him, Cap. Are you joking? Let's go and shout things on the other side of the dining room door to him. Can you just tell him JC wants him to hurry up and come to bed? Tell him I'm waiting for him. Let's see what time it is. John James! Josie's in her kinky underwear waiting for you! <laughs> Don't go! I'm missing you! Was that okay? Was that okay, Josie? Yeah. But not kinky underwear, because he's going to have a reckless problem when he realises his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a bag of shit. Not to what? He's such a disappointment as well for him to go this close to the end. Yeah, it's a bit chilly now, mate. I'm not tired, mate. Tonight. I'm tired. I need to have a shower and stuff. Oh, I don't want John James to go. I'm going to stay up, I think, for a while. I need to have a shower. Bobby, you're a naughty boy. Look what you've done. Upset John James. Upset Josie. Upset Corin. I don't know what's happening, darling. We should just go back to bed and everything will be fine. You'll see and get used to me in your bed rather than him. No, I fucking won't. You wish. Don't mind you sleeping in a single beside me, but not in my bed, Pepper Pot. <laughs> <laughs> there's only one, one, there's only a bit of room in this bed. And as for a hunky Australia, and he's about to leave the big brother house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are we going to be up in there for the longest Okay, then. Right, that's it. I'm really going to sleep now. But I'm worried about John James. Anyone else worried about John James? Yeah, we're all worried about John James. I'm the most he's worried. Like I'm the most worried. He's not going to go. He'll be back in an hour. Coming any time to be in the most worried pattern. No, but I'm the most worried. So that makes it hard for me to sleep. I don't think he would leave without saying, sorting it out with me first. No, he won't leave. He'll be back. That's not John James. That's just... Oh, that's the worst. Oh, right. Why, what is it being said? It's about Rachel thing and that. He's going on and he's... Um, I c yeah, you you just talking about different things and effing a little bit. It, quiet, you want like shouting. And then JJ was saying something like, that's not the way it's going to be or something or another. And JJ was like trying to... I suppose trying to say, yeah, look, John, John, don't, don't like think like that, you know? Right up, I think. It's yeah. It's funky, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I can't that believe I said that. That was a, one, of the fun, one of my funniest moments as well, actually. Murder and Ben. How long do you reckon you can get away with listening by that door? Because he's quite loud. You probably will hear what he's saying. Let's do it. Yeah. We have, we have a crack at him. He's quite loud. He's not shouting, but he's, you can hear him clearly enough. He's saying about stuff on the outside and something. 
You have that one. Let Josie have a go. I'm going to get down low, you can go up high. I don't mind going out in the night how. He's talking about me then. Do you JJ then? If I, he said if I went in there now and said that John's gone. I think he's out of order what they've done, Wayne. I do think he's out of order what they've done, and I don't normally go against it, but mm. I do think he's out of order what they've done. John James, if you go, we're all going. <laughs> John James, if you go, I'm going too. Don't do it. Sounds like John's on about going. Sorry? You're JJ in there saying something like, if I go in there now and say you've gone. Bite or something on my shoulder. Yeah, no, but I think I was really freaked out. He was, he was freaking out anyway about how he was, about him going out. I thought he was sure if like his mum was there and he wanted his friends there because he knew that when he went out, he was going to pop some banter. I think there were some questions he was going to ask him that he was going to get quite aggressive, especially regarding him and Josie and why he took that Oh wait, there's a massive crack here. Just shout through there if you go, me and Sam are going. Shall I? Yeah. John, if you leave, me and Josie are going too. Do you think he's been stitched up like a kipper over the top? He's had it hard. Hmm? He's had it hard.
kan ook een beetje een... Uh, Uh, Should I get a knife and pop open the door? Well, we're setting up camp outside the door. Like protesters. I'm just nipping in, I'll be back in one minute. They have thinged him, like they said, he's actually dressed like a crab and everyone called him crab eyes, when the last time someone called him that, he didn't make sure he was even crying. Yeah. He's bloody got someone's girlfriend coming in, or Nathan's girlfriend coming in, giving him a massage, no full well he's going the mirror, when they don't get on. They've stitched him right up like a kipper, really. He shouldn't have said what he said to her, he shouldn't have. And, he, and uh, hopefully he's learned his lesson. Yeah. But if that's not stitching someone up, I don't know what is. Mm. And then he's got the, they've got the, he's the, perfect really, they've got the ride that we had this morning. And he said he's had more respect for women. Than that. Mm. He's more respect for women like that, which is true. Yeah. Um, but he has got respect for, like, look how he's been towards me. But he, and he, sh- he shouldn't have said that to Rachel, he shouldn't have, shouldn't have spoke to her like that. But like, fancy doing that. Fancy doing that. He's had a bit of a shit deal, really. Mm. It, but it, it could have been completely different, you know. Mm. You've met, they might have gone on and they, they might have sorted things out. It just went the wrong way, didn't it? Yeah, but they don't, like, they, obviously they hate each other. Mm. And like to, to get, put someone in that position while they're blokes behind the bloody mirror. Do you think they... I'm not, I mean, I don't mean they stood like... Well, Ben said, didn't he, that they'd been behind the mirror today and that watching and, you know... Yeah, but, like, the, the, the thing is, like, he shouldn't have carried... He should not have carried on. Like, I don't... Ex- I don't... Ex- I don't... Yeah. Yeah. I think he'll come back in. Yeah. Yeah, that were out. I don't think John will ever be with him. No. I think, can you hear anything? Mm, JJ's in there trying to convince him not to go. But the thing is, before, he wouldn't have gone because he was, obviously, it was over me, but this time, he feels like he's been stitched right up. He's like, Worried about what his mum thinks and like what his family and friends think. And they, he said he's ready to cop it when he gets out because obviously he's been ready to cop it all along. But he said he's like he didn't he didn't want to cop it so much that he'd have to move back to Australia. You know. Mm. Mm. He won't have to move back to Australia. I'm sure JJ will start him 